Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video uh, today about photographing your work. First of all though, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone in year four and five and I'm sure across the school that are taking um, such an active part in their home learning. Um, the work that's been coming in and the amount of people taking part, putting in so much effort, and taking real pride in continuing with their education at home is, is a, a massive credit to all of you. So well done for putting in the hard work. It's really appreciated from our end as well. So although you've been, uh, a lot of you have been completing this amazing work, sometimes it's really tricky for us to be able to see the, um, the work. There's a couple of reasons that's making it difficult for us. We've tried to make interactive worksheets so you can use your tablet to write on them, but sometimes you will have to write into a textbook or write onto some paper or draw, and there's you know no way of us getting around that. So I thought I'd make a short video on how to upload, or sorry, how you should photograph or record your work, and that way it gives us the best chance to see it, mark it, and then give you guys the feedback that you deserve once it is completed. So first of all, um, I'm going to show you a couple of different pictures of my sort of desk area and some of the things that I've noticed that some people are trying to do. First of all, though, the most important thing for any good photograph is lighting. Now, although this is a video, it, it uses the same thing. I've got a, a natural light in my kitchen um, from my window, but because it's at the back of my head, it will make the screen really dark. So I've got my light on above me. Just to give you an idea of what a difference it makes. So I almost become like a sort of shadow um, and because this light at the back of me now is much brighter than what's in here, I become really dark and it's hard for me to see. So first thing you need to make sure you do is either get the natural light involved or um, have a, a good strong light, whether that's from a lamp or the light on the ceiling, okay? Second thing I'm seeing lots of are lovely pictures from nice a nice distance that show everything on your table and show you working hard on all your different activities, which is great. But if we're just focusing on, say, the special focus, which is the right hand work, I, even with my glasses on and zoomed in, I would find that text really hard to read. Um, so it's simply not a um, zoomed enough image okay so let's try and keep the shots a bit closer now then you I've seen quite a few other people then doing sort of the overhead shots but again we've got lots of other things going on and you'll notice the pictures in landscape which is sort of this way rather than portrait which is long so only half of the picture has got the text in so what I would suggest is to take a picture portrait and if you look on the left hand side this has got just the piece of paper that I want to include in so when I use that camera I'm trying to keep all of the piece of work into the frame before I press um, the camera shutter button. Now you're probably wondering why there are two pictures there these two pictures are the exact same image. However, one has been taken with the light on and one has been taken with the light off. So you can see what a difference it makes by just having the big light on your ceiling on or whether you have a lamp or like a side light, um, what a difference it makes. Now, although the letters are quite clear on this picture, if there's a shadow or your light is not as strong as say my window or my my ceiling light then this becomes much harder to read so same picture camera was the same distance away just turning the light off that's what difference it makes so your steps to success for getting perfect photos every time are as follows so make sure your work is flat lay out as flat as you possibly can Make sure you have a good light source. So natural light is best. So if you take it by the window, that'll give you your best photos. Try not to create a shadow. That's kind of difficult if you're using a big light and you're say holding your phone above it. It can be tricky. That's why 
the natural light from a window is probably best, but try as best you can not to take a picture with a shadow. And lastly, hold your camera directly over your work. Lovely RT photos, some of the, what some of you guys are taking, but um, we just need to see the work. So when you go straight over it in your in your uh, camera, just see the uh, what just show should I say the the work that we need to have a look at, and then that gives us the best chance to mark it and get that feedback to you guys. All right. So if there's anything else I can help with, just let me know on Dojo. But I hope this uh, video will uh, help you along the way. Thanks, guys. See you later.